that's that. Go. Good. Yeah, force was still at 211. Power was at 769. All right, so really focusing on the first five to seven steps of his acceleration pattern. So we really want him staying low, really engaging the hips. Uh, we kind of fixed his start a little bit so we can get him accelerating them hips further. It's gonna be a longer ground contact at the beginning because we're working on uh, force into the ground to push his hips forward. So we really want him pushing those hips forward. So the extension needs to be out. Uh, he needs to extend those hips out so he can step down and really push those hips forward. Let's go, set it up. Long, hard steps, yep. Bring that left arm over a little bit. Relax your neck, yep. Really sweep forward. Set, go. Good. What that report look like? Good. So, because we made that correction to his start and how he pushed out, his force increased um, by 10 newtons, and his but his power output increased by pretty almost 200 watts. Um, so, uh, I'll show you on here. So, the last rep was 769 force was 211 but then the last rep it was 926 watts with 212 newtons and 557 rms so we essentially helped them put power down in the right spots and we can tell that immediately by what the data puts out so man this box is great because we can see from rep to rep how we're making improvements and then once we can replicate everything consistently then we'll know we'll have a better idea of what he's doing correctly and then we'll be able to instantly see when something goes wrong or when we got to change it